What's up YouTube? As many of you may know, your boy here is currently studying for the SE exam. So in this video, I'm breaking down the hours I'm allocating to which subjects during my studies. I'm being completely transparent with the time I'm taking, the subjects I'm covering, to hopefully prepare myself adequately for this year's upcoming SE exam. I'm sharing a little time management advice from current SEs that have obviously successfully passed their exams. Once I talked with them, it became very clear how much I should be studying for the exam, and it gave me a nice road path forward for my studies. You're not gonna wanna miss this one, especially if you're studying for the SE. Let's jump in. Well, the SE exam is split up into two categories. You have the vertical exam and you have the lateral exam. Both are eight hour exams for a total of 16 hours, but we all know that already. Well, from the advice given to me, relatively speaking, in order for study time, you should allocate 200 hours to studying. That broken up would be 100 and 100 for vertical and for lateral. Now, this coming October, for me, I am only taking the vertical portion of the exam. So, I'm allocating roughly 100 hours of study time for myself. As I've mentioned before in a previous short, always check the NCES guidelines first. They break it down into categories for everything that you need to study. Once I reviewed all that, then I created my own categories for myself that just fit better for me. So that's what I'm gonna be describing here now. And for me, that meant 12 categories. And they're as follows. I split my 12 categories up into two different sections. The green being the morning portion of the exam, and then the blue being the afternoon. The first half of the exam is a four hour session and there's 40 multiple choice problems. And then the afternoon is four questions that are open response. So they're, they're essay style questions and it's just open design. You can elect to sign up for two different types of SE exams, one for bridges and one for buildings. And where that really impacts is that the afternoon portion, instead of how I've written building, for each one of these, um, it would be for bridges. Um, but the morning portion is basically, I think the same for both exams where it covers uh, both scenarios. You can't just be an SE uh, that works on bridges and your exam is just about bridges. You still need to be proficient in building design and vice versa. So for me, I'm taking the building uh, SE exam, uh, which means that I don't really need to get too crazy with my studies for uh, Ashto in bridge design. But in the morning, I still need to know some. I need to be kind of deadly and have a good understanding of the design process of the Ashto code. But if I have 100 hours and I have 12 categories that I need to study, if I were to just evenly distribute that, that actually gets me 8.33 hours per section. It's not like, okay, I'm gonna uh, study 100 hours and then cut off and that's just gonna be it. I'm gonna be pencils down. I, it doesn't need to be as rigid as that, especially for me. I like to do more rather than less. That's just me personally. But this gives me a good understanding of relatively how long each section I should be studying. And if for some reason I need to study, you know, 20, 30 hours on a specific section, maybe that's a little indicator to me to say, you know, am I not in the right position yet to take this exam? Do I have enough experience? Do I have enough knowledge over time and, and enough understanding of the built environment to realistically be taking this? That's just one of those little indicators to tell yourself of like, okay, maybe I just don't grasp it enough yet. And I need to get more exposure and more experience in the professional field and be around colleagues who have worked in that area for so much longer that can help progress your knowledge before you get into your studies. I have eight sections I've broken down in the morning. Analysis is, you know, indeterminate structures and statics and all that kind of stuff in between. Um, you know, trust analysis, method of sections, blah, blah, blah. Uh, influence lines, all that kind of stuff that isn't technically a material type. I am rounding up from this number and I'm doing 10 hours as like a standard per section. 10 hours, masonry, 10 hours. Concrete, 10 hours. Steel, you guessed it. Wood, although I'm proficient in wood, you guessed it, another 10 to make sure I just fill in all those nooks and crannies. Light gauge, I am electing to do five hours of this. It's not because I'm some master at light gauge. I'm actually not that great at light gauge, but in my opinion, it's a lesser building material that isn't focused on as much. Uh, it's gonna suck if I go to the exam and it's like super heavy light gauge design. So I'm taking my chances. I'm gonna know the fundamentals. I'm gonna know the major components that you should know how to design, obviously, how to work my way around the code, but I'm allotting less time to that 
to put towards other areas. Bridges, so Ashto, I'm putting in the 10. And then Foundations is a, a subset that I'm splitting off 100% as well. You have a foundation for every building, obviously, uh, and it also includes like retaining structures. So that I'm allotting 10 hours as well. All in all, that gets me a summation of 70 hours of studying for the morning portion of the exam. And then in the afternoon, where we have those essay type uh, open response questions, I'm taking the building exam. So I've allotted uh, four categories. Each one of those, I'm gonna allow another 10 additional hours of study time. And this is where I'm actually thinking I may end up being a little more lax with this, hopefully. Because while I've already studied the same areas for the morning, masonry, concrete, steel, wood, and I've put in my 10 hours for each one of those, it's not like there's some crazy massive difference in designing a building of these materials as, as opposed to the morning where you're mostly just com uh, designing components of those materials. The afternoon, the blue section I have here, there's gonna be more studying going into building codes and the 716 um, and kind of the provisions that go along with that for you to construct your structures, not so much of like, oh, steel beam, I need to design that, how do I do that? All of that studying was accounted for in the green morning portion of those materials. If I need less time than 10 hours, it means that I've done good studying for the morning. I just need to brush up on building codes and stuff. But again, that's just another check-in for myself to say, how am I doing with my studies? I think that's a really crucial thing is to continue to check in diligently with yourself to say, how's it going? You know, whisper in your ear. Is everything going all right? Are you sweating? Have you looked at that sentence and reread it 10 times and you don't understand what's going on? It's those little internal cues you want to make sure that you continuously check in with and be realistic with yourself. That equates to another 40 hours of studying. My life is just fantastic with the amount of studying I'm going to be doing. It's been fun so far, in all honesty, and I'm learning a lot. Cumulative, you might say, well, wait a minute, you're over to 100 hours. That's all right. We're at 110 hours. I'm gonna throw in a little extra spicy dish right at the end here, and I'm gonna allot 10 additional hours for practice exams. I can spell practice. Oh my God. Um, for me, Kesteva, we're looking at 120 total hours of study prep for the Gravity SE exam this coming October. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I'm missing something or this may not be the best strategy in your experiences. I'd love to hear other SEs who have passed and those who unfortunately haven't passed the first go around. This is how I'm going to tackle. I'm gonna break it down. And as you see me studying, this is kind of the background behind it. Remember to leave a like. Every like that I get, I will add an additional minute to my study time. So who knows if we can get into the thousands. Well, your boy's gonna be doing a lot more live streams. And if you haven't yet and you enjoy structural engineering and you're an aspiring engineer or you're just looking to fine tune your own engineering profession, subscribe down below. Join a team of thousands of other engineers from around the world trying to better themselves. Until next time, this is Rich with Team Kesteva, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.